Judy Fader, Hilton and Highland. Kelly Kerrigan, Hilton and Highland. One four two South Canyon View Drive. Property is ten thousand square foot home on a twenty six thousand square foot lot. It's an architectural gem. It has a yin and yang quality to it. Not only in the structure of the house, but in the setting. It's a very strong poured concrete and glass architectural. Jeff Highland, Hilton and Highland. The Beverly House. Very famous, legendary estate of Beverly Hills. It was owned by William Randolph Hearst, largest media publisher in the United States in the 30s to the 50s. Was also a uh, uh, owner of several Hollywood studios. And he acquired this house after he moved to Los Angeles from his legendary San Simeon estate in the Central California coast. House is 50,000 square feet, a block and a half from the Beverly Hills Hotel. Uh, it is perhaps most famous uh, for its infamous scene uh, in the movie with Marlon Brando, The Godfather. Most likely, it's going to be somebody who will buy the house, live in the house six to eight weeks a year. It will not be a primary residence. It'll be somebody who has multiple houses around the world, and this will be their show palace when they come, most likely in the, in the summer, to reside in Beverly Hills. Uh, the house probably has the largest amount of bedrooms of any home in Beverly Hills. There are 17 bedrooms, plus two guest houses uh, with phenomenal security. It's one of the few estates that cannot be seen from the street. Commands exceptional privacy. The asking price is $95 million. My name is Matthew Altman, and I work for the Hilton Highland Agency in Beverly Hills, California. So uh, I would like to talk about Nine Avalon Vista. It's one of the most beautiful properties we have out in Pelican Crest, which is down in Newport Beach. This beautiful home features six bedrooms, 10 bathrooms, approximately 13,500 square feet on a 30,000 square foot lot. It's got an incredible view of the ocean, extremely private, gated community. Your neighbor happens to be Kobe Bryant. My name is Helena Dietz and I'm working for Hilton and Highland in Beverly Hills. Hello, my name is Rodrigo Iglesias. Today, I'm going to be talking about 34.5 acres, comprised of uh, four properties, a vineyard producing wine, and a whole area to uh, uh, gallop horses. There's three to four acre pasture. Um, there are six horse stalls and a turnout. It is really a one of a kind piece of property in the Palisades, given that it is very centrally located to uh, the uh, village, to the beach, to uh, main universities, it's about 15 or 20 minutes to Pepperdine, it's about 15, 20 minutes to uh, UCLA, about an hour from USC, and about 40 minutes from Loyola Marymount. It would be just great property for, um, for a farm, an uh, organic farm, and with horses, with barn. Hello, my name is Wayne Fritchen. I'm with Hilton Highland Real Estate in Beverly Hills, California. I'm the estates director for the firm. A magnificent historical estate in Lynchburg, out, right out of Lynchburg, Virginia, Concord, Virginia, in Appomattox County. And if I may make a notation, this is where the Civil War ended. Uh, the South surrendered to the North at this uh, place. The property is approximately 2,500 acres of land. Uh, the estate itself is over 23,000 square feet. 
of magnificent yeah. Georgia. Hundreds of miles of riding trails, actually, uh, in, the, in the 2,500 acres. There are some carved out specifically for riding trails, but uh, uh, unlimited amount of horses. There's about 75 acres of land that is used for horse pasture and unlimited amount of barn space. The University of Lynchburg, which has one of the top law schools in the United States, is, again, within close, close range. And there are other universities, University of Virginia, of course, and you're, you're within an hour's drive of Washington, D.C., and an hour and a half's drive from New York City. There's an indoor and outdoor uh, swimming pool, indoor outdoor tennis courts, uh, there's a sports complex, uh, there is a 5,000 bottle wine cellar. from a timeshare concept anywhere, uh, from a, uh, uh, a resort itself, which has been contemplated, a bed and breakfast type of uh, situation for something. The current asking price is $18,500,000.